Are we here to honor labor today? Yeah. There it is. Thank you, everybody. Orange County Sheriff Logan Jackson deputized citrus or orchard guards and provided them with steel helmets, shotguns, and axe handles. The newly minted cops the, new, the newly minted cops began arresting strikers en masse, more than 250 by strike's end. When that didn't stop the strike, they reported workers to federal immigration authorities. When that didn't work, out came the guns and clubs. Tear glass blossomed in the groves. Mobs of citrus farmers and their supporters attacked strikers under cover of darkness. What county residents tried to dismiss as a fruitless strike quickly escalated into a full-fledged civil war in which race and class were inseparable. The Mexicans of Orange County, the county's historical source of cheap labor, were finally asking for better working conditions. Their gabacho overlords wouldn't hear of it. And so both sides fought for a month until the lords of Orange County won. Wonder why Orange County trembles whenever it's, Mel whenever it's Mexicans protest? Welcome to the Citrus War of 1936, the most important event in Orange County you've never heard of. So the story goes on, and that citrus grove, by the way, where this started, it still exists. It's right across from the Anaheim Police Station, right there off of Santa Ana Street and Harbor. It is still there. There should be a marker there instead of it being fenced off the whole time. And I'll finish with this in Espanol, por supuesto. So not only is there this article that came out, but there was actually a corrido, a ballad, written about the Citrus War of 1936 by a union organizer from way back in the days named Emilio Martinez. So I'm going to read this in Spanish. Julio, I wish we could put this as a plaque, but you'd get in trouble, so let me finish this. So and I'm only going to say it in Spanish. If you don't know Spanish already, go move to Vermont or something. And even there. Adiós, California, adiós, el estado de las flores. Que vivan los unionistas y que mueran los esquiroles. Thank you so much, folks. Uh, organized, thank you uh, for coming today and celebrating uh, with us uh, the opening of this table. Uh, and please treat every single worker with respect and dignity, which is the one thing we fight for every single day. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.